Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a tutorial on this look right here. If you're interested in how to get this look, then please keep watching. So seeing as this is a bit of a darker eye look, we're just starting off with the eyes first and I'm prepping them with Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just ignore the coloured tape. I couldn't find normal sticky tape, but it worked just fine. All I'm doing is blending in the Sherbet from the Anastasia self-made palette and I'm just blending that into the crease and I go over that a second time. Now we're just taking hot chocolate and placing that on the outer corner. And then to blend that up into the crease, we're just taking a softer and less dense blending brush. Now I've just taken Sherbet again to make the transition seamless. For the highlight of this look, we're just using a flat shader brush to pack on Isla on the inner corners to the center of the lids. And I just wanted to intensify that green just a little bit, so I took Freak from the Urban Decay Electric palette. And then I decided to make the outer corners a little more green, so this is Led Zeppelin from The Balm. Using MAC Fix Plus, we're taking Isla again to intensify the green once more. And then I just took Butter by Anastasia to highlight my brow bone. For the inner corner highlight, I've taken Nylon by MAC. And for my liquid liner, my trusty Maybelline Hyperglossy Liner. I then used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade very lightly just to fill in my brows. For my lashes, I used Ardell's Wispies and then Max Factor's Masterpiece Transform Mascara to tie my lashes together. So I obviously primed my face first and then just dotted NARS Chi Glow all over my face. Um, and it just makes it easier to blend out this way and less product goes into the brush and more so on my face. Let's have a bit of fun till I and then to press that in, I just used a beauty blender. For contouring, I decided to do a cream contour. And so under my eyes, I placed LA Girls Concealer in Natural, which is a little bit more orange based on my skin tone and it works well for dark circles. And then to highlight, I used Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and dotted that over the areas I wanted to highlight. This will give less of a heavy application when you dot it and a more natural look overall. To contour, I used LA Girls Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and it scared the hell out of me at first because a little product goes a long way, so be very wary of that around your nose area. There's me taking a selfie. Now I'm just dampening my Real Techniques sponge to blend out the highlight. I used a Real Techniques brush to blend out my contour because I just prefer the way brushes blend out contour shades and I don't feel beauty blenders work as well. It looked crazy dirty at first, um, but after blending that in and going in with a little foundation on the Real Techniques sponge, it blended in seamlessly and looked less harsh. I then lined my waterline with a brown liner and then took Led Zeppelin on my lower lash line. I'm of course using my favourite Bahama Mama bronzer just to bronze up my face a little. And for blush I took I Will Always Love You by Too Faced which is a peachy shade. For highlight I used my trusty Mary Luminizer all over the high points of my face where the sun would hit. To line my lips today, I took this Too Faced lip liner, I'll leave the exact colour in the description box down below. And then for my lipstick today, I took Kate Moss's Rimmel lipstick, which is just this gorgeous peachy nude shade, and it tied in with the look so well. Look at 
look at my hand, it's disgusting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. 